Hello and welcome again. A new case in regression or linear regression classical approach. Again, this is a unique, very rare case. Some scattered information is there and we need to obtain the two lines of regression. The information available is sigma y minus 5 equals to sigma x. Sigma x plus 2 whole square equals to 480. Sigma y square that means sy square that means variance of y is 5. Sigma xy equals to sigma y square minus 5 sigma y and equals to 4 y bar equals to 13. We are well aware that to obtain the two lines of regression we should have four things. Two coefficients of regression bx and bxy and two means x bar and y bar. y bar is added available but to find out x bar we need sigma x but sigma x the rather numerical value of sigma x is not there. <coughs> So we have to find it. Not only that, to find out BYX and BXY, we need some summations or summations of some variables and their squared values. But we don't have them, so we need to find out everything from this scattered information available. Let's do it and let's start with the easiest possible thing and that is to find out sigma y from y bar. Because we shall need sigma y to find out sigma x from the first information. y bar sigma y upon n. That means n into y bar will be equivalent to sigma y. That means 4 into 13 equals to sigma y. And that means sigma y is 52. Now let's take the first information. Sigma y minus 5 equals to sigma x. Let's open the bracket and that will be sigma y minus sigma 5 equals to sigma x. Now sigma 5 is strange because sigma is the sign of summation and summation is of always a variable which can have two or more values. But what do we mean by the thing when sigma comes with a constant value as a part of some step of calculation. Sigma with a constant value takes value equivalent to n or in simple word sigma becomes n when it is attached to a constant value as a part of calculation. So this will be sigma y minus n into 5 equals to sigma x. Now let's substitute the values of the things which are available sigma y 52 as we have already found minus n 4 into 5 equals to sigma x that means 52 minus 20 equals to sigma x and that means sigma x equals to 32 so we have sigma x that means we can find out x bar x bar equals to sigma x upon n that is 32 by 4, that means x bar is 8. So now we have y bar x bar, sigma x sigma y. We still need to find out sigma xy sigma x square and sigma y square from the remaining information available. The second information available is sigma x plus 2 the whole square equals to 480. Let us expand the bracket first. It will be sigma x square 2 square into x that means plus 4x and 2 square plus 4 equals to 480. Now let's open the bracket. Sigma with x square will be sigma x square plus sigma into 4x plus sigma into 4 equals to 480. So it will be sigma x square. Now sigma will go with x that means plus 4 into sigma x plus sigma with a constant value becomes n, n into 4 equals to 480. Now let's substitute the available values. Sigma x square is not available, it is missing. Plus 4 into sigma x means 4 into 32. Plus n means 4 into 4 equals to 480. That means sigma x square plus 128 plus 16 equals to 480. 
that means sigma x square equals to 480 minus 128 minus 16 that means sigma x square equals to 336 so we found the third summation out of 5 sigma x sigma y sigma x square we still need two summations sigma y square and sigma x y x y square that means variance of y is 5 now in school days we have already learned finding standard deviations variance etc with different formula is there any formula in which we can substitute sigma y square yes there is a formula <clears throat> Variance of y equals to sigma y square upon n minus y bar the whole square. This was or this is called a shortcut formula in which we don't need to take the deviations from me. Instead of using the formula sigma y minus y bar whole square upon n, we can also use this formula particularly in the cases where y bar is not an integer or at any time not compulsory that y bar is not an integer we can use this because in this formula the main thing is to calculate y bar we just need sigma y that is nothing but summation of variable y and sigma y square that is summation of the squared values of the variable y so we can directly use all the things we don't need to find any type of deviations and then summation let us substitute 5 equals to sigma y square upon 4 minus y bar 13 square. That means 5 equals to sigma y square upon 4 minus 169. That means 169 should be here 1 plus 169 equals to sigma y square upon 4. Yes, as a teacher, as a paper checker, I have many times found that some students transfer this for first year. No, first we have to transfer the value which is attached with plus or minus sign. Then only we can transfer the value on the other side which is attached as a division factor or as a multiplier. Please mind well, this is very important point. Yes. 169 plus 5 equals to 174 equals to sigma y square upon 4. That means sigma y square equals to 174 into 4. That will be 400, uh, sorry, 696. So now we found sigma y square also. So we have four summations. Sigma x, sigma y, sigma x square, sigma y square. We still need sigma x, y. And for that also we have something. Sigma xy equals to five, sigma y square minus 5 sigma y. Sigma y square 696 minus 5 sigma y means 5 into 52. That means 696 minus 260. That means 436. Sigma xy equals to 430. 6. Now we have all 5 summations. Sigma x, sigma y, sigma x, y, sigma y, square, sigma x, y. That means we can find out b x, y as well as b y x. So let's find them. b y x equals to n sigma x, y minus sigma x into sigma y upon n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square. That is 4 into 436 minus 32 into 52 upon 4 into sigma x square is 336 minus sigma x 32 the whole square. It will be 1744 minus 1664 upon 1344 minus 1024. Ultimately, it is 80 upon 320. That means BYX equals to 0.25.
वन फोर्थ और पॉइंट टू फाइव सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड आउट बी एक्स वाई बी एक्स वाई इक्वल्स टू एन सिग्मा एक्स वाई माइनस सिग्मा एक्स इंटू सिग्मा वाई द सेम न्यूमेरेटर अपॉन एन सिग्मा वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस सिग्मा वाई द होल स्क्वेयर दैट मीन्स फोर इंटू फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स माइनस थर्टी टू इंटू फिफ्टी टू अपॉन फोर इंटू सिग्मा वाई स्क्वेयर इज सिक्स हंड्रेड नाइंटी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टी टू द होल स्क्वेयर दैट मीन्स सेवनटीन फोर्टी फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फोर एज इट वॉज इन द प्रीवियस स्टेप फोर इंटू सिक्स हंड्रेड नाइंटी सिक्स इज टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एटी फोर माइनस फिफ्टी टू स्क्वेयर इज टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फोर so it is 80 upon 80 that means b x y is 1 one of the two coefficients is one or more then another should be less than one and it is yes okay now we have b y x b x y x bar y bar so now we can find out the two lines of regression line of regression first of y on x and that is y estimated equals to a plus bx where b stands for byx but first find out a that is y bar minus byx into x bar that is 13 minus byx is 0.25 and x bar is 8 that means 13 minus 2 so a is 11 That means y estimated equals to 11 plus 0.25 x. This is the line of regression of y on x. Similarly, line of regression of x on y. The standard form is x estimated equals to c plus b y and b stands for b x y. Yes. First, let's find out c. The formula is x bar minus b x y into y bar. x bar is 8 minus b b x y is 1 y bar is 13 that is 8 minus 13 so c comes to negative 5 so y estimated is sorry x estimated is minus 5 plus y that means y minus 5 is the line of regression of x on y in this way from this scattered information we first found sigma y then by using the given information one by one we also found sigma x from first information sigma x square from the second sigma y square from the variance of y see this formula study this formula carefully this is very important even to find out standard deviations also you can use this formula and then we found sigma xy from this information thus we found all five summations and then we were able to find out byx and bxy and ultimately we found the equations of the lines of regression this is a very unique case it is say some rare kind of case so only after studying the whole chapter i advise you to go for this kind of problems that's it thank you very much